Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have a new Too Faced collection here to kind of do a first impressions and a first look at, which I'm really excited for. So I have a couple things here from the Natural Lust collection that just released. I think it released this week. I ordered mine on Sephora and I did the one day shipping so I could be sure to review this for you guys and test it out. So I did put it on today. I'm going to show you guys how I did this look with this collection as well. But I kind of just wanted to go over all the swatches and what my thoughts are about this palette so far. I remember seeing the sneak piece for this and I was like pretty excited about it because honestly, okay, so this is like these kind of the second version in this collection because they had like the natural love palette. I think that was a couple years ago. Was that last year? No, I think it was two years ago, maybe three. I had some issues with the natural love. I think it had some really pretty shades, but it was just lacking a couple things for me. So it had like the potential to be amazing and then it just wasn't a palette that I reached for very often, mostly because I felt like there wasn't enough, like, darker shades in it. They were all so light. Um, but this palette, I was excited to see the colors. Looked like they had some more darker shades in it, which I was really pumped about. So, um, of course, this is a natural palette since it is part of the natural line, so it is going to be more of your neutrals. So, all my neutral lovers, you might enjoy this kind of review. Um, as you guys know, I'm a neutral lover myself and I am a huge lover of Too Faced, so I had to check out this collection. But anyways, I'm going to start off with this palette first. As you can see, it is like kind of blinding here, um, but it is this beautiful kind of antique looking, almost looks bronzy, very gorgeous. It does have a little bit of texture to it, which is cool, and it does have like this little peacock theme, but also kind of like a floral theme. I don't know, but it's cute. So this palette is retailing for $59. It is a little bit pricey, but um, as you can see, you guys get a lot of shadows and a huge mirror in here. Too Faced always just kills it with their packaging. This one is gorgeous. And so here is all of the shades that are included in this palette. It's mostly neutrals, but we do have like a few pops of colors. It's kind of throwing in those peacock colors. So we have like this kind of deeper purple, um, like a teal color, and then just like some really nice shimmers and mattes. So so it's a really nice mix. I was definitely attracted to this palette because I really do go for neutral shades um, and I like that they have just a couple pops of color. It's not like too much. I will go ahead and throw in swatches of all the shades right here so you guys can see all the colors and how they swatch. So for the swatches, I feel like the mattes, I was really surprised they swatched kind of patchy. So I was kind of nervous about trying them out, but when I do have them, um, I'm doing a look for you guys in this video as well. When I did use the mattes, they actually performed really well and there was quite a bit of pigmentation, which was really nice. And these shadows do hold up as well because I filmed the actual eyeshadow look like five hours or so ago and this is how it still looks on my eyes later and the shimmers hold up really nice which is awesome because most shimmers I feel like they go onto the lid and look so pretty but then they just like blend away into nothing and I hate that so this one it actually has stayed really good so I'm hoping that's the case for all the shimmers in this palette but they are really pretty um, and they go on super foiled if you do like a little water on your brush or MAC fix plus then they can look like super foiled like I have but yeah the mattes were really good too they they don't have like a ton of dark ones, but they do have more than the natural love, which I like. So there's a lot for me that I can work with in this palette, in my opinion. Um, what I really like is I feel like the rows are kind of set up with each other. So I think you can kind of easily make a look out of each row. So like, as you can see, we have some pinky tones. In here there's this like fun olive pop but also like these fun like earth tones in there and then we have like this cool toned row down here so I feel like each row you can kind of create a fun look with to make it a little bit easier on you so I didn't even like realize that until I was playing with it I was like you know what I'm using all tones in this row because they all seem to go together really well so that is kind of a fun perk with this palette is that it's really easy to create a look with but this is just a really nice just everyday palette for me that I know is gonna perform well but I can also so, like make really glam looks with it like I did for tonight um, I think this look turned out really nice so that's kind of my first impressions on the palette I also wanted to quick go over this bronzer here that's in the collection it does have the peacock on it as well and it's also embossed on the inside which 
Oh, I scratched mine, so don't mind that, but we have this beautiful peacock and then this like floral design on the inside as well. It's literally the same as the front. Um, this is the Natural Lust Bronzer. It's a satin dual tone bronzer and this is huge. You get 0.63 ounces in here. Oh my gosh, look how big that is. That is humongous. Um, let me swatch. I'm not really sure. I tried to use them as like a separate bronzer and a separate highlighter. The bronzer did perform pretty well. It is more shimmery, so there is a swatch of it. And then there is a highlighter in here too. I don't know if you're supposed to use them separate or together. Here they are separate. And then together, they're going to create like a really shimmery kind of bronze like that. So that is kind of the swatches. And I'll show you guys this as well on. Um, let me go over the pricing of this one. Let me pull it up on the Too Faced site for you guys. So this bronzer here is going to be retailing for $34 for this giant bronzer. Which is a decent price for that. But anyways, enough with my little first impressions here. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how the products perform and how I did this look. And then we'll get into my final thoughts. So I don't think my microphone was plugged in <laughs> um, at first. But basically all I've done so far is I put some eye primer on. I did use the Marc Jacobs eye primer here. This is the undercover. And then we're going into the palette. So I went ahead and placed Love Language. This kind of almost pinkish cream color all over my lid to set that but I'm just so excited to play with this palette I'm going to a wedding tonight so I wanted to do something just like neutral but still like really pretty um, I'm wearing like a floral dress so I feel like this palette is perfect for a wedding look it just has like all of your basic essential neutral colors in it all right so then with a fluffy brush I'm using the Sigma E35 brush and I want to use just like a soft Kind of crease color. I'm thinking if I want to do like a pinky toned or like a rose gold look, but there's also some really pretty cool tones in here too that I kind of want to play with. Oh, so hard. Okay, so I think I'm going to use Fall Hard. It is like this light blush pink, and I'm going to place that into my crease. This is actually a lot more pigmented than I thought it would be. I thought it would be like super light, but it's actually, it builds up really nice. And then with a smaller brush, I'm using the Sigma E25 Blending Brush. Hmm, I want to take, I think I want to do Spank Me. And I'm going to also place that in the crease too. Just a little bit, so I don't want to go like too intense. But this is kind of almost like a taupey, grayish purple. It's a nice <laughs> little description for you. I'm, the, I'm really great at describing colors, as you can tell. I'm impressed with how pigmented these colors are coming out to be because when this when I swatched them they seemed a little bit patchy but it seems like they're actually building up quite nicely I'm gonna take that same brush I just used and I'm gonna go into hmm I think I want to use this hot to trot shade here and that is gonna be placed in my outer corner I do wish that this maybe had like one dark brown because it kind of has this dark black over here, but I wish that was like a really dark brown instead, like a dark chocolate kind of shade. And I'm going to take a little flat brush like this and I'm just going to wet it because we're going to do a shimmer color. So I want to use the shade Too Good right here. It's like this pinky kind of almost silvery color. It looks really pretty. So I cannot wait to test this one on the eyes. Ooh, yes, that's gorgeous. Hopefully it stays like that because sometimes when I use like different shimmers, it can like go away. Okay, I do like that. Um, I need to grab an eyeliner real quick and then I'll do some color on the lower lash line. And for my liner, I'm using the shade Roach from Urban Decay. I'm just gonna line the upper and lower lash line here. For the lower lash line, I'm going to take Spank Me over here again, just very lightly, so I can kind of rub that in with my eyeliner and smudge that there just to have some color on the bottom. I always do that with all my looks. I just feel weird without it. And then for an inner corner highlight, I'm taking All Tied Up, and I'm going to pop that on the inner corners just to brighten that up. So that's it for the eyes for now. I'm going to put 
foundation and some eyebrows on and all the other goodies and I'll be right back. Alright, so now that most of my face is done, I'm going to be trying out this new Natural Lust bronzer. It's a satin dual tone bronzer, so it has a bronzer and a highlighter in here. So I did grab a smaller bronzer brush so that I could dip into that part specifically. All right, let's let's see how this is. We'll see if it's any good. I hope it's not too shimmery. It does take a little bit of building, so I have dipped in a couple of times to build up the pigmentation here. But otherwise, it's really not too bad of a color. And I'm glad that it actually is bigger than I thought it would be. I thought it was going to be a lot smaller, like their normal bronzer size. So this definitely makes it easier when it's a dual. I am putting on some blush too. I'm just using this Jouer Coquette Blush Duo in these pink colors here. And then I'm going to go in with that highlight as well and see how this is. Mm, this highlight's very subtle. Like it barely shows up. So I would probably... I feel like you could probably mix these together and just use it as a bronzer, like a shimmery bronzer, instead of using this as a highlight. But it does work when you're in a pinch, so I can see like some glow, which I guess this will be okay. I don't want to be too glowy. And then lastly, we have this new lip color. It's from their peach line. It's called the Peach Puff Long Wing Diffuse Matte Lip Color. It says non-feathering. So I got the shade in the flesh. Looks like this. And you just kind of twist up the color and it comes into this little puff, I guess they call it. So it's starting to come out, if you guys can see. Mmm, it smells really good. This is a very light shade. It's like matte, but it's almost like moisturizing. Like it almost has like this oily essence to it, but it's like matte at the same time it's very interesting and it smells a little different than the other peach products like it's almost like a real peach instead of the other ones are kind of like a peach and fig this one honestly smells a little different but it's super easy to apply all right so there is the lips and this will be the finished look and now we will get back to the review let me do a little close-up you can see the eyes and everything but anyways, yes, let's go ahead and get back into the review. So that's kind of how everything performed. I realized I didn't really go over this little guy in the beginning either, but this is the Peach Puff Diffuse Matte Lip Color, which is fairly new. It's not really with a natural collection, but it is new for Too Faced. It came out about the same time, but these are $19, and they have an array of colors in here. But um, I'll swatch this one. It is just like a twist-up lip product, and then you swatch it on your hand. It is not like... It's more of like a medium wash of color in my opinion, but they feel really nice on the lips surprisingly. This wasn't something I was like, oh my gosh, I need it in my life um, because, I don't know, I just have like all the peach lipsticks, so I wasn't sure like how I would feel about this. I just kind of wasn't excited about it, you know, but um, I actually kind of like that these are a little bit lighter in texture to the peach matte. Sometimes those, the actual peach lipsticks can feel a little bit heavy on the lips, but these are very like lightweight and um, they do wear off a little bit throughout the day, but it's not bad. Um, so they stay matte, but they also don't feel super dry, which I think is nice. So these were actually pretty decent. I would definitely wear this color more often. Um, I do like that it's a nice nude and this one was in the shade in the flesh so that one was pretty decent um I don't know if I would like run out to go grab like other colors because I'm not like obsessed with it but I will definitely get a lot of use out of this shade I think um as for the let's go with the bronzer next I feel like this one I'm I don't know. I just wasn't like that into it. Um, trying it out and everything it is so gorgeous, but I don't think this is definitely not one you need to have like in your collection. You're not really missing out on much with this one. I do like that they made this really big so it's not like small and hard to dip your brush into, but I don't like that this highlight is just, it's not vibrant enough for me. It's a little bit subtle. Um, and I wouldn't really like the colors mixed together because I don't like too much shimmer on my face for bronzer. I do prefer more of a matte look. The bronzer was pretty on its own, but I did have to build it up a little bit, but the color was nice. But I'm just not really like, I don't think this is a must-have 
in my opinion. So that one's just okay. I'm not a huge fan of it. And then um, onto the Natural Lust Actual Eyeshadow Palette. I know I haven't been able to use all the shades. I did swatch them for you guys, but I so far, all the ones I have used, I have really enjoyed. I feel like this is a really good palette. Something that I know I'll get a lot of use out of. And if you guys really do like your neutrals, but maybe want like a couple pops of color, nothing too crazy, I think you guys would really like this palette. It's a lot better than the first one they did. The original Natural Love was not very good in my opinion, but this one definitely hits it out of the park. I think this one is so good. It's so sunny. I can't wait to play with these fun colors. I really like this like teal shade and this olive and then the purple look really fun, but just has your everyday shades as well. Of course, um, some of these could probably look really similar on the lid since it does focus more on like those light shades, but those are what I use the most like for every day. So I don't really mind it but yeah I really like the look I came up with today um they are a little bit crumbly the shimmers are so just be careful of that I could see maybe going through the colors really quickly because I did use fix plus but if you use a light hand and don't press too hard I think you will be good but yeah I definitely really do like this palette I would definitely recommend it if you guys are neutral lovers or just want something for every day that's easy to use then this would be a pretty good one. And I can't wait to play with it more, but yes, I'm really impressed with that. I thought the eyeshadows were really good quality, typical Too Faced shadows. And like I said earlier, even though the mattes seem to swatch a little bit patchy, they actually performed pretty well in the eyes. I had a lot of pigmentation right away and I was able to blend everything out. There was nothing patchy or anything. So I really do recommend the palette. That is definitely my favorite thing out of all the items that we tested out today. Pretty much all I have for today's video. I also ordered here the new Coco Contour palette here. So I might test this in a separate video like a trying new makeup because I'm kind of interested to see how this performs as well. This is brand new. But other than that, that's all I have for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Bye guys.